Hello, today's devotional can be found in Job chapter 12, verse 11. Doth not the ear try words, and the mouth taste his meat? Okay. Everything in our body functions in a unique way. Some have more functions than others, but we are all unique and special in the eyes of the Lord, and He provides ways for us to be able to do what we are needing to do to get by in this world. We may not have all the functions to be quote unquote normal, but we are special and unique and being all, all of us being normal and all of us being the same is quite boring and it's conformist attitude and it's the way Satan wants us to be. Satan all wants us to have the same abilities and the same strengths and the same talents. He wants everyone to be like everyone else and nobody to have individualism. Because then it's easier to make everybody just fall into line. If everybody's the same and nobody has any individual ideas or thoughts or styles or beliefs. Heavenly Father, on the other hand, wants us to all have our own thoughts, our own ideas, our own ways we do things because he wants us all to be different. He wants us all to be proud of who we are and how we are made. And he wants us all to have our own individual thought patterns and beliefs because that is part of our, our presence of having free agency because we are able to choose for ourselves how we want to live, who we want to be, and what we want to do. We cannot be afraid to exercise our freedom to choose because life is so very short that if we just give in to conformity, we're not going to learn anything and the Spirit won't be able to reach us if we just give in to conformity. If we stand apart from conformity and live our own way, we are more teachable than if we give in to conformity. If we give in to conformity, our heart is closed. And our mind is closed, and a closed heart and mind cannot be taught. But if we live free to have our own ideas and embrace them as we will, then we are free to have open hearts and minds that we might be able to embrace new ideas and promptings from Heavenly Father. And we might be able to embrace the atonement of Jesus Christ as well. Because we, are, as we are open to learning, we are open to being healed as well. But it's our choice. We live how we want to live, but is, is conforming to others and being like everybody else really living? Or are we just going through the motions? Think about it. With that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.